Tonight, Gabrielle Gadgas, she's in Louisville, where several groups have been working to get people to the polls tonight. Now, the Louisville Urban League and the Brianna Taylor Foundation are just some of the groups leading these efforts. They have music out here with a DJ, free food, energizing people to get out the vote. And you can see the parking lot is full with people coming in, casting their ballots. Brianna Taylor's family has been encouraging people to take their protests to their polls. In fact, we were here when Kenneth Walker, Taylor's boyfriend, cast his ballot. Take a listen. Put it up, put it up. Let me see it. Let me see it. Put it up. 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 Okay, And we've seen and heard several people cheer and clap, dance as soon as they walked out that door. Taylor's family says the goal is to bring hope and encourage people to use their power to bring effective change. I voted because Rihanna Taylor couldn't, and you should too. Their first time voting, whether they're, you know, giving rise to the polls, teaching people how to fill out their ballot, you know, we, we appreciate it all. But it's very important to come out and vote because not only for justice, but how we're going to be able to see justice if we don't vote for people that can change the policies. The Urban League, along with the National Social Justice Group Until Freedom, have all been leading efforts to get out the vote since early voting started, offering free shuttle rides, voter registration events, and now they're hoping all the hard work will pay off. The crowds may pick up here later this evening. You can see some people are going in as I speak, and we'll stick around to bring you more later. But for now, reporting live, Sanai Gavrigadigas, WHS 11 News.